afternoon guys. Well, I'm just talking to Falkirk Town Centre, so I thought I'd give you a bit of history within the Falkirk Town Centre and what the heritage is all about. Thanks for joining me in this lovely sunny day. Well, here we are at the Tollbooth Street. This street once said to be the shortest street in Great Britain. It dates from 1663 when a new Tollbooth this courtroom and jail cells were built on the, the site of the present steeple. So that must have been that steeple there. You know what I mean? That must have been the old doors. So oh, this is the this is the toll booth. This is the toll booth. Toll booth tavern. This is the old pub. The fly market. The toll booth street, the shortest street in Great Britain. At a length of 17 metres, so basically 58 feet. And this is the wee street here they're talking about. So they say all that is basically your bars and grills and wee places like that. It goes down to the high street. You know what I mean? Now they say, folks, folks, it's got a lot of history. Um, we're going to go back here towards the, um, the steeple because it, it's believed that. And once upon a time, that people who got sentenced in the courtroom, which is in here, just to be stood here, because this was a public hanging place in Falkirk here. And they moved the well over to where that man sitting with the line at, that was the old well. And the coast there for that Wilson coast where he's gone, that was meant to be a dangerous coast at one point. Then that's the bit there, I'm sure there's a public hanging took place. So I'm just finding this out. Once in 1927, the lightning strike within the steeple. You know what I mean? Here's made it here. This runs out here of High Street, it's a marketplace. So you could read all the history. But this is the old jail. You can see the wee staircase all the way up to the top. It's got more heritage bits within it. The steeple is open Tuesday and Saturdays, so you basically get a wee bit up there. It takes you way back to the town of Falk that has a steeple since the late 16th century or early 17th century. The current steeples is the third Falk steeple but only the second one to occupy this site. In 1812, Glasgow architect David Hamilton was commissioned to design a new steeple building work began in 1813. Very well folks. And what I've noticed is over here um, there's like a, a memorial kind of thing. Right? It shows you tells you about um, they call it the Bartle Falkirk. That took place. Um, this is the street I was talking about there. We used to be able to get what, one horse and cart up um, before all the thought this was built. Oh, yeah. um, this is this street here. That, yeah. Um, the Battle of Falkirk. Wonder who that boy there is, eh? Boy Wallace. There you go. So, what I'm saying here is the Battle of Falkirk Cairn is located in Calder Park, which is only 100 yards up that way. So, I'm going to go and do a bit of digging and see what I can cover through there because I can't really, really I've got Calder Park recently, I couldn't really see anything like Calder Park, but I'm going to go and have a look at it. That's Manor Street down there. This is the cut wing. Bit of folk, but as you see, see, it's starting to get all busy. We folk stitching there, it's good to see. Check the wee hands out. So, folk up, I see, starting to clear itself up. Get wee funny. What funniest things on the, the wee poles and that, and a wee bit of amusement. So it's pretty good to 
just see what it's going on. There's the, the entrance there. You can go all the way up to the top there. But Timpson's not been there for years now. For the years. Years, for years, man. Got a, these on street paint markets and stalls for your stuff. But this is a Tuesday afternoon. And they're Burton Birds and Falkirk High Street. As you can see, it's about a little bigger than this. It's about a little, little bigger than this than the 90s. You can do it. I mean, but as time goes on, things develop, other companies start arriving, the places get shut down. Look at that building, 1914 that building. So that's what I'm saying, but a lot of this is getting all knocked down, but the sound is clear. Look at a lot of these wee tea things there, cool. Aye, that camera's square. That's getting knocked in. So some of the fact is they're regenerating the ball cutting. Oh no, they're mad around the bits. Let's get on here. The cow wing. From at least the 17th century and possibly much earlier, the cow wing was one of the five entrances to the town with its own port or town gate. So as you can see and read for yourself, I'm not going to stand here with all day, unfortunately. The Greek rival Bank of Scotland building opposite the few lines on the high street was built in 1832 for the King Russell Bank. And that's that area. Sitting there. There you are, some stuff for the charity shop, which is nice to see. Four foot wind. This used to be my old lawyer's office, Russell and Aiton, established in 1888, but his company moved to Denny. Um, now, so, we go exit, so your, your brands and designer clothing, upstairs and downstairs, then you've got the other bit across here, it's Quest. Now, let's see, this is the um, spot, the two wings. Uh, Bulk up. This is the way back up towards England. The mission lane. Mission lane. What a mission it was back in the days. Now I'm going to show you a property that I once stayed in. A wee back in oh, the early 2000s where a lot of activity was going on. And it's that one up there. That top one there. Yep, so the year 2000 upwards. That's where a lot of the criminal activity started. Then you had your camera, they built the camera, placed the camera there. It used to face down here. I think the door was there. But as I say, um, the man who had the flats and that sold the flats and that. But yeah, and this is a wee sneaky alleyway into the back. But just at the back of there, there's a graveyard. Old Cat Wing Graveyard. Um, I want to see if we can see it. I want to see if we can see it. You see there? Because you can't really get into it because the bulk of the house is that, so this is the only entrance. But there used to be an old man town that used to sleep in here. Um, it was the town's alcoholic and hobo, as we like to say. Um, well, he used to sleep in that graveyard. And as I say, during the day, he used to come into the, into the main street. The high street, sorry. And, a wee kind of nuisance for his cell. But sometimes they've done that just to get a bed for the night at the police station, so you know what I mean? Sad. You know what I mean? People don't realise. You know what I mean? People don't realise. People just, you know what I mean? But everybody helped them out. You know what I mean? Even the police, even the local police helped them out. Just to give them a bed for the night and put them in the morning, feed them and that, eh? So, you know what I mean? So I think he passed away a long time ago. But, my days of running up and down this street Fucking Brutal Brutal 
Um, it's just fucking horrendous, man. Non stop, non stop. You know what I mean? 24 hours a fucking day. And it was just for what? We literally, for nothing. You know what I mean? Just to spend, to spend half a day in the fucking uh, half a life in the jail. Don't remember that. I mean, had good bits and bad bits, but. You barbers there. As these things always do. You always get your good things and your bad things when you're involved with that connectivity, but thankfully I've got away from it all and chose the life. Check all this look. Heritage of Falkirk. We memorabilia. Yep. Um, dude, I'm running, I was used to run about this tune shows about 11. I mean, I'm from Bonnybridge. Bonnybridge is only a wee village. Well, it was only a wee village. Maybe about 8 miles from here. Um, and we used to kind of come in on motorbikes or Mountain bikes or whatever they used to be like in, in the bus. Um, and wreak fucking havoc about the tune, as you always do as you're a teenager. But when you get a bit older and a bit wiser, um, you learn to kind of kick back. And you don't want your own kid going grown up like that, do you? Man. Um, but Falkert's getting kind of right bad way, like the fake daddy pan and different gangs coming into Falkirk and you know what I mean and it's just fucking causing misery within the, the community, you know what I mean? But as I say it's how you take these people away from that kind of lifestyle and get them into a better lifestyle, you know what I mean? So at the end of the day I'm having a light man, I'm a wee boy, what I'm that, caught up and then that crap, you know what I mean? Um, I've done it for, for years, and uh, don't get me wrong, it was, it was bad, it was really bad, some parts of that stage of my life, then as I say, it was, um, other parts it was good, but I just didn't want to see my wee boy grow up like that, any of my kids to be honest like that, um, it's not life to be honest, yeah, you mean, working, enjoying yourself, going on holidays, stuff like that, that's all, that's all our life, you know what I mean? Want to live that fake gangster fucking life or fake hard man life or whatever. You're not going to get anywhere else but the jail. Now, this street here, I way at the top, it's called Cumley Place. I used to stay up there with my mum away at the top. Then that old man with the bus shelter is. That was actually a brothel, a Chinese brothel. It got raided. Um, and these wee streets here are kind of well known, but I I ended up getting that flat after the brothel got fucking raided towards you, and I always kept getting people chatting on my fucking door. Do you know what I mean? It's crazy, crazy, crazy. A lot happened in Falkirk just because it's no published on the news or papers. Believe me, it goes on. Do you know what I mean? It goes on, big style. A lot more than people maybe realise. I mean, uh, it's terrible. Um, and I think it's maybe just because it's a wee tune that they're getting away with it, you know what I'm talking about? Because through all my experiences within the prison system, I've only maybe met five people from Falkirk. And I mean, like, players, I mean, big players, you know what I mean? Um, in prison, you know what I mean? I've never ever met your so called big men in the jail, eh? It was always a wee foot soldiers, and there was only about five, ten of them at the time, out of the whole foot that was growing, you know what I mean? So, what does that tell you? And you always get your honest ones, you know what I mean? And you all know who these are. But you always get your sneaky ones, you know what I mean? That's just part of that kind of life. But anyway, folks, this is Paul Kirk on a sunny afternoon. I hope you're all well, I hope you're all blessed, and I'll see you all soon, okay? Thumbs up!